welcome back to my channel and it's Madden time baby and before we head into the video don't forget to drop a like subscribe and comment so today is another episode of power up choices and this one's going to be 96 overall power pass and the first one on the list to start off the video is going to be lt this card is amazing end game type card only thing is missing is more block shedding which we'll get in his ultimate legend later down the road when he gets to 99 or whatever it's whatever time they decide to upgrade him but yeah this card is going to be it's going to be good this 96 just by himself is going to be good until maybe the end of the year. So he gets his card, his brand new card. But yeah, this card is so good. 95 speed anybody's team with Brawler, Sprinter. Has the Excel, the Strength. He's a little low on the block shooting, but 90 is good enough. He's going to be 92 powered up. And then if you use like Bannon's D or whatever cases, run stuff if you want to. Obviously get boosted up. And then he has high power move finesse with 93 finesse powered up and 96 power move finesse. This card is fantastic. 6-3. Also has some hit power. Which is, where is it at? It is right here, 92 hit power, so he, he can make somebody fumble. And it's only 72, so he's not. You can put him on a hard flat, and he'll box that hard flat real quick. I've been doing it all the time recently because you need to, because people be using bunch and have a, uh, a flat right here, a flat right over there, a tight end, running back. Like, it's just, you need more people in coverage to guard that. But yeah, this card is amazing. Really, really, really good card. Next option for this power pass is Michael Strahan. Had to put two Giants on this list. Big Giants fan, and also these cards are really good. Here are his stats. Also, before I get to talk about it, everybody's saying the everybody prefers the Justin Smith over this card. I that's unbelievable because this guy has balanced pass rush moves because Smith could get the 98 power, move, 97 power, move, whatever he gets powered up, but his finesse move is like in the it's a high 70s or mid 70s, so this card could do both. And he has high block shed, and he can get 99 if you use the right camps. He has great speed at 91 and he's the best inside stuff in my opinion just because the speed and he has the combined pi um, pass rush moves not like smith does but yeah this card's really good i had him since he came out and he's still playing amazing for my team all right here's another option for the power pass sneed i had him on the power pass video earlier in the year the 89 through 90 just because he was just beautiful card 95 speed with, with the brawler and um or sprinter before that point and then this card obviously is gonna have 98 speed, 99 on the Chiefs team team, but 98 speed is good enough. He's gonna get his well, lockdown powered up. He's gonna have his 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. Has everything you want in the corner. He's six one, so you won't get you won't get moss. That's what I'm looking for. You won't get moss, but like this card can do everything: agility, speed. Like I said, man coverage, everything. All the coverage in the game, good. Change directions, 88, not too bad. And also has some hit power, 85, a good tackling at the cornerback position. Also. He's gonna have 70 blocks when powered up, so it's gonna be a demon out there for you. Really good card. I love this 89 card when it came out of the team standout. This card's gonna be no different. It's gonna be cracked out on all levels. Real good card. All right, next on this list is Terry McLaurin, a great receiver. He gets 99 speed on anybody's team. Just power him up. Brawler Sprinter, real simple. Has a route run. He has everything you want in a receiver. Has some weight so you can fall forward, reach for those um, first downs. But besides that, the only negative about this card is the agility is a little bit low. But it's just doable right now with the 90 agility. Off to power it up, and with the sprinter or the brawler, it depends how much you're gonna have. But yeah, this card's really good, especially it's good for people that use high run master quarterbacks and be more beneficial to your team just because yeah, you can use the deep end or deep out of lead or both from the same time. It's because it gives you um, it can it burns man and it has improved catching just for one AP. So if you do have a high run master quarterback, this is the receiver for your team. And also, like I always say about power up choice videos, that I try to choose cards that are the cheapest possible, like to get them to all the way to the max level. And he has a defensive card, which is the scary fast card. So I advise you have to use a 91, 92 pass on him because he's like 130k. The point of a power pass too is to just waste minimal money as possible for that player. Here's the first quarterback on the list, Russell Wilson. This card is fantastic. Has once powered up, he's gonna have gunslinger, escape artist, and um, QB playmaker. So you can do it every way you want it. QB playmaker with gunslinger or escape artist with gunslinger. He has all thresholds, has speed, everything you want in a quarterback. Only thing that's upsetting about this card is that he should have got a Walter Payton Man of the Year card because all the other cards got 97 overalls, even the rookies, the MVP, everything. So he could have got one and then he would have been part of 97. And with that, we got a, like last year, they had him Madden 20. That got limited, like um, Michael Thomas and um, Clayus Campbell both got to the years. Then they got plus ones for the and for Honors card. They should have done for Russell Wilson here because then he would have got a hard master. But besides that, still. Still not happening in this game. He's still a good card. Skateboard is gustling. I was gustling with QB Playmaker. Just an amazing card. And also, like I said with McLaurin before, the point of this series is to have cards 
that are cheap because obviously power pass is a, is a free card basically so you want anything below them as cheap as possible but i had to put him on the list because he's a great quarterback top tier quarterback in the game right now at this point in might so i had to put him here he's the most expensive one he's a more expensive than mclaurin's card by like 10k more but like i said with mclaurin i'll say it right here again with, with wilson use 91 through 92 power pass on him so you have the thing as most the most free as possible had to put this guy on the list justin regis so it was a demon last year in madden the difference between him this year and last year is that this card has a man last year he didn't have man and he has more hip hop than last year too this card is amazing 98 speed on anybody's team has tackling to 90 with lockdown off so when you put it on him he's gonna have 99 zone his man's not gonna be 99 but it's gonna be close to 99 it's gonna be 98 he has hit power 89 powered up he's gonna be 6 to 1 everything just everything you want in the guy he gets also one step ahead if you were looking to put one step ahead on him but like this read is just an amazing card he played good for me last year i'd expect no difference this year and this card is just fantastic for me in my opinion this is probably the card i want to go with because i just love how he plays in real life and in the game but here's another option this card this card is just an amazing card amazing here's another pass rusher for y'all Khalil Mack really good card he is a power rusher so he gets inside stuff to ap that means but i wouldn't do that because he's obviously an outside player and you can't put him inside there's no way because he's um outside linebacker it was like a left end right end then you can put him but besides that this card is another good card you just like lt but a little bit slower you can use both of them because Mack has always been a demon in real life and in the game he made two all pro positions in one year with the raiders that's that's incredible but yeah six three weighs a lot that was way too much but weighs 269 really good card has speed at 90 for anybody's team. And then obviously everybody rocks Raiders DMT. So you get the plus one if you got rocking Raiders. But besides that, like no team team's cards will be cracked out. Has um both pass rush moves with power and finesse. With block shed, tackle, has everything you want in a pass rush. A really good card. Here's another safety for you to think of for the power pass is Jamal Adams. Also his um, Redux card at a um, 90 overall one is real cheap, like 40k when I checked. So he's a perfect option for the power pass if you're looking for safety help. And he's a good user too. Power him up. He's going to be 97 speed on your team. Anybody's team. Now obviously if you have Seahawks all the way or Jets all the way, he's going to be 99. But his card could do everything. He has man, zone, hip power, everything. He's a complete package. One thing that worries me about him is that he has low agility. But it shouldn't worry too much because I'll be rocking um this guy, Eric Allen. He has like 90 agility on my team. And he doesn't get burned too much on the man. He plays fine. But yeah, this card is really good. It could do everything you want in the safety. Here's another option for the 96 power pass for y'all. This Waller has to put him on this list. Just some amazing card. 6'6. Has speed. Has all the route running thresholds with medium, short, and deep. Right here's um right here's at 92. And if y'all wondering, his Redux card is not that expensive. It's like 50k. So y'all gonna be good. But yeah, this card has everything you want in the tight end. Also, because um slap on match on nightmare if y'all looking for like you know have yeah, spare AP hanging around, you just slap it on him for 2 AP match on nightmare. It works, it works pretty well. Next option on this list is Byron Jones. I had to put him. He was a demon last year. He's a demon this year. No difference. Great card. He has, he has great jumping. Great, great animation. He's a zone corner also. So if one of y'all like to rock on um, mid-zone KO, he's a great option. One AP for him. And then he also has 99 speed on anybody's team. Has the man, the zone. I guess I know I'm both with the press. It has high agility, high excel. This card is just an amazing card. Amazing. Next option on the list is his teammate, Xavier Howard, who led the league in picks with nine. Just an amazing card. He's basically like a Jones card, but like a little bit less. But like both of them combined, obviously, with half Dolphins or full Dolphins, or without even no team team. Still a crack card, 97 speed. Especially if you use him in zone KO as a scheme. There's one AP for zone corners. This is a really good card. Next option. For his power pass is Deion Sanders. Prime time. Had to put him here. Just an amazing card. Has speed, excel, agility. Gets his both coverages all the way to 99. Only weakness about this card is his press. If you press a lot, it's not, it's, not, it's not the card to go with. And also, he's not physical as other corners. He has low tackling. But he still tackle somebody because, you know, it's Madden. But, but yeah, this card is a fantastic card. Deion Sanders. Here's the second quarterback on my list. And final, obviously, is Michael Vick. This card is amazing. He gets um, Gunslinger with Skate Artist. So if you're looking for that, or just gonna gunsling by itself. But like great speed. Anybody's team 98 speed with gunsling and escape bars, which is really good. Gets it with play fake, gets his throw mid to over 90. And like, yeah, this card is amazing. He can do everything for you. Run, scramble, make crazy throws. You know, it's Vic. Probably the best quarterback in what in Madden history, in period, just because of his way to scramble and hit every throw. Really good card. 
had to put this guy on the list. Randy Moss, just a demon. Mm-hmm. Good life and in the game. He has 98 speed on anybody's team. Obviously, you have half team team. He makes him 99. But 6 4 with that speed, with the route running, who, which he will get to all thresholds once powered up. With 91 short, 90 medium, and 96 deep. And then you slap on play thick on him. And now he gets higher short and, and higher medium. But yeah, this card's fantastic. Do everything. He has agility, change direction. Just an amazing card. All right, here's the final card on the list. Stefan Diggs. I had to put a route running for y'all. Just in case y'all yeah, just rocking Gunslinger. You know, how our master quarterback. So I had to put him here. Really good card. Nice time to spend on anybody's team. Then he gets the one APs, which is so key. If you're not rocking a Howard master quarterback. Of apprentices and all the route running, like ins and outs, elites. Which are better now because they burn man and improve catching for a combination. So yeah, like, just an amazing card. Had to put him here. And I love route runners, so I had to put them here for that. Slot route runners are just an amazing archetype, the best in the game. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'm out of here.